turnaround going up. Lucky Pegasus in the blinkers. Here's Builder. American currency, one from the outside. Blame Joe will be the last one. Here's American currency. And blame Joe. They're all in. And uh, away they go. All came out well. Blame Joe now being pulled up, though. Number eight, the favorite, Blame Joe, was pulled up right after the start. Number eight, Blame Joe, eased on the back stretch, is out of the race. American currency is fastest into stride. Extreme heat is along the inside. Catch fire in the pink colors right there. Lucky Pegasus, white cap, extreme outside, turn around. Builder is only two and a half off the leaders and street zombie down at the rail. Tightly bunched as they go into the turn now. Extreme heat at the rail. American currency up alongside of that. Turn around now takes the third spot. Catch fire in the pink is having to go wide and losing ground. Street zombies coming through down at the rail. Lucky Pegasus has to be ridden along. Builders alongside of that. They are coming to the quarter pole. American currency takes the lead. And American currency sets sail for home now. Opens up to lead by three. It's all American currency at the top of the lane. Extreme heat dropping away in the second spot. Down the center, Builder tries a late run. Street zombie at the rail. Past the eighth pole, American currency still well clear. Builder is running on for second, but it's all American currency in a race of his own out here. American currency and Herbato Figueroa. They win it easy. Builder was second. Street zombie third. Turn around fourth. The unofficial result, winner number seven, American Currency. Second number four, Builder. Third number two, Street Zombie. Fourth number six, Turnaround. Stewards are reviewing that incident shortly after the start when number eight, Blame Joe, was eased. Stewards are reviewing it. The stewards have ruled after looking at that incident that the horse took an awkward step and was pulled up. No blame could be attached to any of the other runners or riders, and there can be no refunds under those conditions. Now entering the Compass Winner's Circle, number seven, American Currency. It's a three-year-old Grey Gelding by exchange rate out of succession. 
He's owned by Raphael de Leon and is trained by Raphael de Leon. Winning rider, apprentice Heriberto Figueroa. The winner was bred in Kentucky by Springland Farm and Prime Bloodstock. Result is official. In the fourth race today, there are no changes. It does begin the pick six.